tremendously since then is just how much I use iOS devices for so many different things, well, now, including comics. Am I right, guys? Comics? Uh, <laughs> hey, what happened? So, so Comixology got sold to Amazon, right? <laughs> we yeah. just did a whole back to work about this. And it seems like there's some upset involved. Now, I'm not a comic book fan, so I don't understand. It's a scotch of upset. A What's bit. the upset? Are they killing comics? Is that it? It's over? No more comics? If well, you pay uh, attention to what they're saying, yes, but I don't think so. But I'm sorry, Merlin, go ahead. <laughs> this, this is their contention? No, people, you know, get emotional about stuff. Yeah. It's uh, basically Amazon acquired Comixology, and within a couple weeks of acquiring them, they released a new version of the app uh, that will not allow in-app purchases. And for most of us, that's how we get comics. Right. Is, is going in, and Wednesday morning, my daughter climbs into bed. We go and see any new Adventure Time available, and you click and you buy it in the app. And so, uh, the inter to me, the interesting thing about Comixology, and we talked about this at length today on the other show, uh, is how many different things Comixology really does. I mean, they're, yes, they're a retailer. They're the primary retailer of uh, digital comics for a lot of big publishers, but they also make the Comixology app one version of which now does not allow in-app purchases. But they also, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but they do the, a white-label version of the Comixology mm -hmm. app for Marvel, for DC, I think. Mm -hmm. for, yep. I think Dark Horse has their own, but most of them use the Comixology app, which still does have in-app purchases. And they have a relationship with Marvel, where you can hook your Marvel account up to your Comixology account so that you can enter in your digital code when, off your hard copy and get the free digital copy on a premium one. So I think it's going to be very interesting to see. If I, I, I guess what I'll say is, it, yes, it's a huge bummer because it's so much easier to buy it inside the I, app. But it's, it's going to be interesting to see what people like Marvel have to say about it because I, yeah. I think it's going to be... That people are outraged that they can't make impulse purchases. <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> it's, You're it's paying all, for yeah, convenience all, and all, experience, Leo. Yeah. Yeah. They move the chiclets all the way to the back of the store. <laughs> Also, well, also when you consider that there are a lot of people who are writing long and really impassioned essays about how they're breaking the comics reading experience, and at which point there's there's a much there's a longer piece of the Sun Times that's going to run tomorrow about this whole thing. But I have to raise my hand and saying, yeah, but remember, like historically, before Comicsology, if you went into the comic book shop, took something off the shelf, read it from cover to cover, and then moved on to the, they would tell you this is not a library. Move on. They, they this is based on the add to cart mentality. They Comicsology just broke you of that habit right so it's i mean it, it's it's it does I mean merlin's right i mean there's there's such an impassioned community of people out there and i think that uh comiXology was represented something more than simply an online right. store it was really you you have a you have you build this lifelong relationship with a specific bricks and mortar retailer where this is the place you go every Wednesday and you will see the same clerks every single week. You will, might see a lot of the same customers every single week. And I think that one of Comixology's successes is that they managed to transfer a lot of that affection and a lot of that romantic connection to their site. So as soon as you feel as though that covenant has been broken in some way, coupled with the fear that Amazon was going to completely ruin Comixology by acquiring it, that's when the same people who are upset that there is somebody who is in wearing the Nova armor, who clearly is not Nova because you can't have the new kid. You have to have the Richard Ryder or whoever it was in that armor. That's the same sort of engine that this sort of outrage is connected up to. Can you blame Apple for their, I mean, this is what Amazon did with the Kindle app and the Audible app as well. They they don't want to give Apple their 30%. Is it, they also did it, with the, uh, they did it with the Marvel Unlimited app as well. Mm -hmm. Marvel Unlimited app, uh, if you sign up on the Marvel Unlimited website, you can get all you can need access to comics for your device, but there's no indication inside, as with the Kindle yeah. app, I think by the terms of uh, the iTunes store, there's no indication of how you would even sign up for that. But the, the, just germane to the Apple point here, though, uh, Andy, you probably know this better than I do, but I, I think I read something that said Comixology is the biggest grossing non-game app in the App Store. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, that's 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 been part of their uh, their their talks for the past year. Or so they've had they've had really really exceptional success, especially over the past year. And it's not just about that uh, that thirty cents per dollar. Also remember that uh, I, I think I, I'm not criticizing the Apple uh, iTunes Store because it is so good for so many people. For Comixology, it's not necessarily the best solution anymore because it means that they can't do certain kinds of promotions. They can't do things like uh, that would require a shopping cart, like being able to say what like what like what Amazon does, saying, "Oh, I, if you bought this, this, and this, doesn't matter what specific ones you bought. We're also we're going to give you credit for more stuff." Uh, they couldn't do subscriptions uh, within that, so they had that's something you already had to go to the Comixology website in order to. 
by sens uh, censorship is a, is too strong a word, but every single thing that a Comixology put on for sale through the Comixology app on iOS had to be approved by Apple. And I don't think that's too strong a word. Apple well, present, well prevents no, that, political. Well, that, uh, well, that that, yeah, that, that means that all that means that all all Apple uh, censorship is too strong a word because all Apple wants to do is to keep this an, an all ages sort of well, uh, experience. Sure, but that but that does mean that, that does mean that number one, it's possible for books to be delayed while page after page of this stuff has to be screened because you can't you can't do a keyword search for a picture of a of a groin ecological area, uh, <laughs> and also it means that there's some stuff that you could only get by going through the Comicsology uh, website uh, directly. It's just I, I just think that it comes down to Apple was not that Comixology was not getting enough for that thirty cents on the dollar that uh, that they would like, and they see a lot of upside, including getting thirty cents more on the dollar. Right. But, but I don't think it's as simple as it's a content oh, speed bump too. I, you're, yeah, that's yeah. a very good point, Renee. You were saying something. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no worries. There, there, there's a lot to decompress from this too, because it's not entirely clear that they wouldn't have done this if they hadn't gone to Amazon. Yeah, exactly. I know the knee-jerk reaction is to blame Amazon, but this could very well have been their plan. You because, know, if they had it ready in a month. It sounds to well, me like they must have been working on it. And the App Store, yeah. I mean, you the App Store is not set up to have multiple middlemen. You have to give 30% to Apple. And when you are a middleman to begin with, that's why right. Netflix, that's why Marvel Unlimited, that's why uh, Kindle, they don't do that because they are, they are already themselves a middleman. And that's it's not enough margin to divide up. And yeah. the other thing that... And to raise Andy's point, there is editorial control, but it's not even-handed. For example, iBooks often got comics that Comixology had a lot more trouble pushing through because Apple has historically been far more lenient with the iTunes side of their business than they have with their um, App Store side of their business. And all of this adds up to be a lot of frustration for Comixology. And while I do think that they're making, you know, it's, it's a very good decision for Comixology, there, you were getting for that 30% a tremendous in-app browsing, impulse buying, and commerce experience from Apple. And that's the sad thing that we lose here. And yes, you can go to iBooks and still buy with in-app purchases, but the interface is nowhere nearly as good as Comixology's interface. So it's kind of both win and lose for everybody involved. Is co the Comixology is iOS only? No, no, it is. No. It's Android as well. You can you can do in-app purchasing through Android. They switch from uh, they they're, they're using their own transaction. Although so they didn't even, they didn't take that out of the Android version. No, because they didn't have to. They could still do in-app purchasing. Right. Uh, uh, Google uh, Google has a lot fewer restrictions on what you can do. So uh, if you off if you're going to do payments through Google Payments, then there are restrictions that are very similar to iTunes. If you're going to use your own transactor, they really almost don't care. So I understand. I mean, really, I understand Merlin. You're saying I'm I'm lying in bed with Lily. I want to have a comic, and so it, if I understand the user is upset because this is like taking a feature out. But I also yeah. it kind of makes sense that this was a, a especially the content limitation. Uh, this was a big. Uh, I, I and, think and so, uh, there's a lot of the content censorship or the content issues. Uh, once the emotional heat dies down, has turned out to be self censorship. I think in the case, I think in one prominent case with, I think it might have been Sex Criminals. No, saga it was too. probably yeah Saga Saga uh, the Image well, comic. We're uh, surrounded by comic book fans, Alex. You and I. Well, I don't know. I know there are actually a couple. Se <laughs> Sex Criminals was, actu was, it, was actually, according, according to Matt Fraction, the author, that was actually banned by, or excuse me, refused by Apple. Saga was, uh, it, it, I believe it turned out that uh, some middleman was concerned that Apple was going to shut it down, and that's why it wasn't available immediately. It wasn't necessarily that they had abandoned it immediately, but it was more like, Apple is sometimes so vague about what they will allow and what they will not allow that it causes a lot of confusion and a lot of uh, people to be very, very timid about what they do. It's it's not it's not the thing is I I I don't want to try to diminish people's frustration or to discount it because it's frustrating for me too. But the truth is, it's not in in practical terms, it's not that hard to right. go to the Comixology site and buy it. But, I mean, the part that interests me is, again, downstream, what this means with these other companies, where, like I say, with Marvel's app, you can still go in and buy your Marvel comics on there. But how many people, I, I said on Back to Work today, like, I really love the Adventure Time comics, but I'm very unlikely to go down, I mean, if you're new to comics, I think people are very unlikely to go get uh, a white-labeled version for a specific publisher and download it. So all of those, the rising tide kind of raised all of those boats. Do, does, and we won't do, have that. Do we think that we're just going to end up where you're just going to 
Amazon.com and buying the, the comic there like, like you, you would, would with a like, a, like you would buy no, a book. I doubt it. It's a, it's, yeah. it's a totally different reading experience. Mm -hmm. Also, if we have the history of Audible.com, another Amazon ac acquisition to fall back on, what happens is that if you uh, look for a book and it's also available on, on Audible, there's also a way to make that purchase through the site. But Audible.com still exists, not right. as a little fledgling HTML, you know, 2.0 site. It's still uh, completely there. So uh, we're supposedly, as they were, as Comixology and Amazon were talking about the acquisition a few weeks ago, they were saying that this is still early. They haven't really discussed a lot of the opportunities they have for integration. I'm looking forward. To, I, I do believe that it's inevitable that they will start taking Amazon payments, uh, Comic, Comixology. I do think it's inevitable that if you do a search on Amazon for comic books, there will be just like Audible. Here is a way to get you to the Comixology site to make a purchase there. Uh, it's 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 going to take a few months for the uh, for Comixology to really get used to itself as a subsidiary of a larger company that a lot of people think has too much power. Uh, it because they were the heads of the they, they were the heads of this this big community of nerds that had given them their faith, and some of those nerds have uh, uh, nerds. I, I am one, and I'm using that term affectionately. Uh, and some of those people feel as though that faith has been trampled on, and that's why you see a lot of people saying, "Well, I'm not using Comixology again," and why some people who are very very uh, have done some really great work in comics have said no here's how amazon has done to destroy comics in general so uh, let, let, let's let's come back in a month and see if these people are still feel that way are still not using comiXology and then uh, then we'll figure out what's going on you know how amazon it's, could make a lot of friends uh free comic yeah, everybody five free, free comic book day is saturday well, they, they did have a ton of free, comics, free comics in comiXology and say you're right we're sorry here have some free comics well they There's did they, they gave everything they gave everybody a five dollar credit, so everybody got found themselves. I want a $5 more free credit. comics. <laughs> There's two other things to consider. One is that with the new model, some creators are saying they're seeing more money. I don't know if your average Marvel artist ah. or writer is, but independent creators are saying they're seeing more money because the Apple cut was, uh, according to Moises Trilan at least, was being taken off the top, off the gross. But the other thing from Apple's perspective, my understanding is that when they started doing IAPs and subscriptions, their concern was that everybody would switch to free apps and do subscriptions and IAPs as a way to monetize if Apple was not involved in them. What's an so, IEP? An in-app in purchase, purchase, sorry. Okay. IAP. So if, if they suddenly just allowed you to do your own uh, in-app purchase and your own subscriptions, out, but could connect to them from inside the app, uh, it would be very tempting for a lot of developers to not give Apple their 30% cut at all. Put the app up and have a big subscribe button that goes to the web or a big purchase button saying enable all features or whatever and go to the web. Then Apple would be handling all the the hosting, the tr the delivery, the you know transactions, all of those things and not have any of the revenue. So I think that they've been incredibly protective with that. But I think also Google Play and Microsoft have shown that there is more ways to handle that problem. We welcome you to the 400th episode of Mac Break Weekly. We haven't even <laughs> talked about Apple. Well, I guess we have because this is really an Apple issue. for and, and, and it is a little bit about the future of the iTunes store. I mean, yeah, if I have this, to say this is a crack it, in the facade a little bit. Well, it it just shows that there. I think that any provider who does not, on a quarterly basis, look at that thirty cents out of a dollar and continually ask themselves, "Is this a good investment for us?" and may, may and maybe consider uh, pulling out of that, then you're dumb, and you're not dumb to use the Apple Store. But if you if if there is if you look at the pie chart of where your where your net goes, and one wedge of it is thirty percent, you have to always be looking at that to see do we need to do we need this wedge of it, or can we uh, split this up into other features and suddenly get 18 cents more back or 20 cents more back. So I, I think that there are too many people who've been looking for villains in this, uh, either Amazon, uh, uh, Comixology, or Apple, when this really is just 30 cents out of a dollar. Am I getting 30 cents worth of value? Yes, great. I'll keep doing it. No? Okay. Can I afford to drop it? Yes, great. Let's do that then. Every time we talk about this, I, it reminds me that I should read more comic books. Espe not comic books, graphic. I really like graphic novels. And every time I pick, but I, I I go to the bookstore, and get them. Right. I loved Mouse, yep. um, The Dark Knight. Um, I've read some great graphic novels. Three hundred. I like Frank Miller a lot. So, um, that this this was this a good platform for that kind of stuff as well. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. The the the, re, the what the, the there's so many things that Comicsology have done 
almost flawlessly. One of them is the way they've created this really, really great reader app. So that if you want to, right. it's, it, I mean. It, it, We've they, talked this, about that before. Yeah, they, 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 came, yeah. they came out well before the iPad, but man, this was poised to absolutely not only benefit from the iPad, but to benefit the iPad. So you can watch it as a full screen thing. You can watch it panel for panel. And they have actual artists in comiXology who are who are manipulating those camera moves to make sure they actually make sense. But then they went to, well, let's go to ultra HD content. So if you are, if, if, if you uh, are, if, if you've got the right kind of art, it's not someone who's doing like, you know, Scooby, the Scooby-Doo comic. I'm talking about <laughs> these artists like, uh, like Amanda Connor, who in the background, covered by shadow there is a makeup table that's not even part of the story but she has considered every object she wanted to put on that makeup table and it's almost impossible to see in a printed comic but on comiXology you zoom 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 so and you say oh she's got a necklace made out yeah. of apple seeds just like somebody 1968 might have might have had yeah, right. that's interesting right so anyway it's it's, it's a highlight experience and that's why i think most people were really concerned about uh, about uh, Amazon because of the first purchase because Amazon comics purchased from Amazon that are mastered as Kindle documents Ick. absolutely Ick. stink they're yeah. terrible yeah. I've, I I bought I bought uh, my fate one of my favorite graphic novels last year a graphic novel by Lucy Kninsky called uh, uh, Relish and of course I bought it as a digital comic it wasn't available on Comixology and it was so bad that I went back to Amazon and ordered the paperback because I just almost found it unreadable in the, as a Kindle should Apple have bought Comixology instead? Would, it, would we have been happier? They would never have said, say, say, say goodbye to, to Android sales. They would never have allowed that. And goodbye to anything co remotely controversial. Exactly. That would have been. Adults. Well, if, well if, if they had, I don't know, if they, if they had made, it, made Comixology into the provider of iBooks content, maybe. But the thing is, I don't think that Comixology would have agreed to a deal from Apple because they really do feel as though they have a mission not just to be a profitable business, but also their part of their their business plan is we want to put comics in the hands of more people. That's why there's practically no major platform that doesn't have a Comixology reader. And that's why if you buy a comic three years ago, it will still run on whatever, you will be able to review it on any device you have right now. I was surprised to find I actually have bought 800 comics through Comixology over the past three or four <gasps> Holy years. Holy cow. Which is more, well, because, because I soon, like, it, it supplanted all of my, like, a paper uh, comic reading because this is just a superior experience. Also, I moved away from uh, my, my old neighborhood that had one of the greatest comic shops in New England, uh, The Outer Limits in Waltham. Uh, ask for Steve greatest shop in the world <laughs> and 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 the play and there's a there's a new comic sh there's another comic shop that's almost within walking distance of my house but it's terrible it's like it's dark and they don't they don't carry usagi yojimbo when i ask well why don't you carry that so well no one orders it so what if i order it now nah, it's not it's not worth my time to order just one copy and well then he just doesn't want to be just uh, d distracted from his world of warcraft campaign in the back of the room it's like oh come <laughs> on this is if, if this is if you're if if this if these are the shops that are going to be driven out of business by digital comics Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So I'm just going to go on Amazon, and I'm going to reward them by buying the 10-volume slipcase set of Neil Gaiman's Sandman and have Do fun it. with it. It's fantastic. I know. One of the greats, right? Yep. Yep. Merlin Mann, what do you read, Lily, at night? Not the Sandman. Um, Ellie Death. and I are reading. Um, I'm sorry, Ellie, not Lily. Why did I call her Lily? Ellie. Oh, uh, we we had Lily for a while, but she wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> Lily 2.0. She was a little needy. Um, <laughs> so out the door. I we miss watched, you, we've been uh, reading. <laughs> well, I, I I'm happy to suggest some ones. That's for why you don't cut the tags off your baby when you bring them home from the hospital. <laughs> no, you no, can return them if they're still in good condition. Keep the receipt, do the tag. But then if you're going to drop old people off uh, in an emergency room, definitely cut the tags out of their clothes. Then that's, you don't, that's just, yes. That's beginner stuff. Um, uh, we uh, For, for kids stuff, uh, reading with kids, my daughter's six. Uh, I've exposed her to a lot of really uh, inappropriate stuff. But for kids stuff, uh, we really like the Adventure Time comics based um, on the TV show, but very much expanding on that universe. Yeah. Um, those are really fun. Um Things like uh, the recently discontinued Superman Family Adventures, I always really recommend for people. Zeta the Space, Zeta the Space Girl uh, is really good. Um, I would say uh, a great Marvel series by Scotty Young uh, of the Oz books is fantastic. Highly recommended. Uh, there's a lot of really good stuff out there. Um, I, think, the I think Sandman's appropriate for an 11 year old, right? Yeah, yeah I'm, no. I'm get her no. a Check. Watchman. Check, watch check, all right. <laughs> yep. Anything, yep. anything by Warren Ellis. <laughs> 
<laughs> she loves Transmetropolitan. Oh, she oh, does. very sophisticated. Yeah, yeah. Well played, Alan really. Moore after he went slightly insane. That's just. <laughs> I, I understand he's revisiting classic characters like Alice in Wonderland and, yes. oh, it's perfect for children. One of the no, it isn't. I'm joking. Do not do this. One of my few regrets over uh, the end of the screensavers, we, you know, we had, as we do here, a wall in the back uh, where we'd have people sign. Actually, they signed the set, come to think. It was the back of the set. And Neil, we had Neil Gaiman on it. And he not only signed it, but he drew a Sandman. Uh, you know, Drew, he I mean, was beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it's gone. I don't. It was back of the set where they took it down and not, they probably burned it. I don't know what they did with it. It's very sad. If anybody owns that, uh, talk to Leo. Talk to me, please. Hundred bucks, right here, waiting for you. Merlin Man is back, ladies and gentlemen, celebrating our four hundredth anniversary of Mac Break Weekly. Andy Anako here, Renee Ritchie, Alex Lindsay. Alex has set up uh, for the second week in a row our question system. Yep. System. Yeah, so so uh, tell us how we get involved in that. So you go to bit.ly, B I T dot L Y slash M B W 400. Okay. And uh, if you go there, you will see people asking questions. Don't worry about the registration. You can put anything in. I mean, I think you can put make it up. anything. Make, make up whatever you want. Later. Yeah, you can actually we'll watch there as well, which is good. Yeah, you can. Nice. So you can watch the video there. Um, but what you can also do is, of course, ask questions, and I haven't answered any yet, but ask questions and vote on them. And so we'll be going through some of the most popular ones. Yeah, bet. Um, and uh, we can answer them some online. I can also, I'll, I'll answer some of them offline, so you can do kind of a little bit of both. Um, and uh, it kind of gives you a way to interact with the show. Um, and definitely also post suggestions and so on and so forth. This is something that um, we've been using internally for a bunch of stuff, and, and now we're uh, um, starting to make it more more public. You've got very, a lot of very stuff. graciously uh, have offered it to TNT yep. to Mike for use during the news show, which we will do. Yes, uh, I, I think we're going to use it more often. And we're happy to have it on. We'll, as we'll many. pay you whatever we need eh, to do no. to, to get right, the. Right I like now this we idea. Test it. We're just trying to bang on it. We're really looking. We're gonna. We, we had a lot. You know what of I want you to add. What, what would you like to say? Video. Video questions. Yes. Ooh. That's just turning on the flash yep. camera and adding it as a content. Let me talk, let me talk to... Because uh, if you could do that, that would be for a show like this to have right. audio and video of the questioner. Yep. Uh, I think it would be great. You'd have to keep the keep the video and audio short. But The hard part is is someone watching a video and then watching another video to yeah. vote on it and so on and so forth. But it's a good idea. I'll, 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 um, I'll take a look at that. We've used that. We've used that in the past, but mostly we've had people do it on YouTube because YouTube has a great right. platform for that. So we might be able to do something where you could do it there and then and then um, post I'd it, love but. to use it in triangulation. Somebody said in the chat room, yeah. right, uh, Patrick, that would be great. Yeah. And then uh, API so we could put it in our apps because I, I really, I'm starting to think mobile is where we need to go. Well, this and is you know, very I'm a genius. Modular, so. See, Dig 4 was uh, was yeah. my idea. So Way the future. Yeah. Way the future. So I, uh, <laughs> way the future. Way the future. I'm the product guy. Mobile, way the future. Right. Yeah, the way of, someday, everything will be mobile. But yeah, this is very, very <laughs> modular. So um, all of that stuff is possible. Uh, also, got, do, you want, do you want to ask a couple of the questions? No, well, I'm going to take a break. But okay, uh, after that, after that, we'll come back with some questions. And by the way, there's new MacBooks. What? You want to talk about that? <laughs> All right, Mac. <laughs> Renee talk Ritchie about Mac. Goes, what? <laughs> <laughs> and a Star Wars cast. And yes, a cast for Star Wars. Oh boy! Wow. I love that. And photo does that so have much. anything to do with that picture over your left shoulder there? You that's bet it, it does. See, there's, I think that's R2D2, and I think that's Harrison Ford, and I think that's Carrie Fisher, and I think that's uh, some dude who played Luke Skywalker. I'm not sure if he voiced it in the cartoon, but that might have been the guy who played. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the, or maybe that's the guy. I can't recognize him after that car accident. But yeah, that's a really cool photo, isn't it? Isn't it? I love that. Yeah, somebody tweeted me that this today, and uh, I didn't recognize any of those people. That's from 76. Peter Mayhew, no, 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 no. That's 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 now. old indie. This is now. That's the, that's the cast. Oh know, well, wait I, a minute. I, I, Stand by. I thought, I thought the exact same thing. I thought that looks so, like that's from the original Star Wars, and I I was trying to figure out where's you know uh, where's Andy Princess Leia. Like I don't see anybody with buns. Sector sec, hmm? Sector Nine enhanced. All right. No, okay. Stand by. Stand by. Stop. Hold that. See, that's, <laughs> well, that, see that that's that's old indie. <laughs> right here. Zip it. Zip it. Zip. Sorry. Uh. Commercial sorry. Our show today brought to you by. Wait a minute. What are you holding up your hand for now? Chad's telling me to stop. <laughs> We're gonna have to do an edit point. Why? The whole tricaster broke. The whole tri. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars. I blame you, Merlin Man. This was working fine until you showed up. Uh, I'm uh, your podcaster, Leo. <laughs> shouldn't have said yeah, that. Good, that good, I shouldn't have opened my yap break? about Obama earlier. I'm sorry. I brought this Thanks, upon Obama. us. Thanks, Obama. Thanks, <laughs> Obama. Another thing, another fine mess you've got us uh. into.
So I did the literally Pelia just story. order the 10 volume slipcase set of the Sandman because yeah. I've, I've, I've read them onesie have, twosie. Fantastic. You know, people are hard on the Watchmen movie. Look at that. But, which is a shame. But what's nice is if you get the Blu ray, uh, it comes with a copy of the uh, comic. Oh, with that's it, nice. For what it's worth. That's nice. It's a good movie. I you know, I didn't mind that movie, but I had not I read think the that comic. that movie is going to get an easier time over go. the years. Okay. It's so close for people who are super fans. Yeah, so close. Okay, so it's a potty break? Yeah, potty break, everybody, except sure. me. Yeah, it's fixed. <laughs> Order the Dark Knight Returns as well, Leo. I have I have that. Frank Miller in hardcover, I have that. Also, you should get uh, Daredevil with uh, Frank Miller yes. and uh, Klaus Janssen. Really? 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 That's yeah. fantastic, Leo. I saw the movie and I thought, hmm. No, 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 no. Oh, God. No, 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 no. <laughs> There's like four different Daredevil runs that are really good. But if you like Frank Miller, you would be on this I love Frank I've... Miller. Yes. It's fantastic. Okay. He is he is my. See, I never got into comic books as a kid. Like all you. I mean, you guys really are just reliving your childhood. I was programming. If you like 300, you should see the response called three. Three. Oh, look. There's what I just ordered. Here Wait a minute. You have it in hardcover. Oh, of course. That's what she oh, said. Oh, I, I've, I've oh. Got, oh. Well, wait a minute. I, I got, got the it, wrong I, one. They don't have I've a hardcover on they, Amazon. They, do. they have ab absolute Sandman, Leo. Look for that. Abs oh, I'm going to quickly cancel this. I would show you mine, but Guy English has them right now. <laughs> so I don't want oh, paperback. So this, is, this, I mean, this, this is the best one. This is the... Uh, Canceling. This, this, is the, this, this is the volume that has the, uh, the Emperor Norton story. Cancel. Ordered by mistake. What do you say when you cancel an Amazon thing? They say select cancellation reason. And mostly it's just because I don't want it anymore. That darn kid of mine. Yeah, there you go. They should have that. They should have a drop down that says it's too easy to order in the first place. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Your stupid one click gets me in trouble every time. So it's called, what is it? Sandman? Com Sandman? This one, th this is Absolute Sandman. Absolute Sandman. I don't know if I they have think, that. Is that the complete set? There's the, they've they've done like they've done these things where they recolored the entire thing, <laughs> and there's bonus. Wait, stuff. it's volume. There's volumes. There's yeah. four volumes. Well, now I'm talking five hundred dollars. Oh, yeah. so worth it, Leo. <laughs> I just wanted one thing. You see, you're you're already thinking about it too much. This is why one <laughs> click is so good, and this is why Comixology is there's screwing themselves. Eighty bucks each. If you give if you give yourself five seconds to think about whether I'll whether I want to whether I want to start getting into the original Sin Maxi series on Marvel, you're not going to buy it. It's it's a five second thought process. There are five volumes at, at almost eighty dollars each. We're talking four hundred dollars. But it's got a ribbon. You see a ribbon that's like a book, ribbon bookmark. It's classy as hell. Should I order volume one and see if I like it? Here you go. Here, here, here's, the, here's the barcode. Just like grab the barcode <laughs> off of this. Okay, that's all you need to do. Anyone, who, anyone who's downloading this, just get this barcode. You can't go half wrong with this. I watched that uh, silly com newspaper comics movie you mentioned, and I went out and got the complete Calvin and Hobbes because of you. Now this. There you go. Get the and now your life is so much better. <laughs> There's a happy face on your absolute watch. Well, you guys are such nerds. <laughs> See, not just we had comments, but we could we could bring out our slipcase editions <laughs> on 30 seconds notice. They're sitting so next the to you one I at all times. <laughs> So good. Uh, of course, you, of course, you don't have the tipped in book plate that has the Dave McKean signature. <laughs> What's that, sketch. Merlin? What's that? Is that hard drives? Oh, you're muted. You're muted, but I, I'm sure he's saying something fast. We can't hear you. Audio, gone. I was just going to say, uh, if you're really a fan of Sandman, do what I did and get yeah. the raw files. Um, <laughs> it's $165,000. Karen, Karen Berger, change your Dropbox password. <laughs> Take Neil game his hard drives. <laughs> but, not, but not for another few days because I'm still downloading the finale. Oh, my God. I love you guys. Let's just forget this and just do this Love show from now on. Comics are fun. Comics break weekly. <laughs> Comics break weekly.